Hi, I'm Samantha Tunador, a Stella Dot director here in Northern Virginia, and I wanted to chat a little bit, bit with you, our team, about how to make a good phone call to kind of a cold or, or lukewarm prospect. Um, I truly believe that you can't just pick up the phone, call someone you haven't talked to in six months, a year, two years, and never talked to on the phone. Um, and just to be able to call and say, if you were to have that small talk conversation and then lead into, hey, how about having a trunk show? It might not come across as so sincere. You didn't really care about what was going on in their life. You really just wanted to book a trunk show. So I think a more important thing to do is to call and be very focused on why you've called and let them know that right up front. So I'm going to do a faux call so you can follow along with how I might have a conversation like this. And let's say I'm calling an old coworker, Joanne. I worked with her over four years ago and have not had any conversation conversations with her. Um, you know, maybe uh, we're on Facebook friends, but she's never on Facebook, so we just really haven't connected. So this is how I might do it as I ring her. Hey Joanne, this is Samantha Tunador. It's been years. How are you? Oh, I'm so excited. I'm looking forward to catching up with you, um, but I don't have time right now to catch up on all the wonderful things going on with you. I'm actually calling for business purposes um, and if you don't mind, you have two minutes free to chat and I'll share, share why. Great. I just sent you an email with a few more details, but I've recently become a rep for Stella and Dot. Are you familiar with the line, the company? I, I thought you might be. Oh good, you've heard about it, you saw something on the news? And do you own any of the jewelry? You don't? Okay. Well, so here's the deal. Um, my business grows by working with fashionable women like you, um, sharing the line with a little social shopping amongst girlfriends, enjoying a beverage, hour and a half of just playing in our line. Now we have jewelry, we have small leather goods. You know, we're really becoming the lifestyle brand, full accessory line. And I thought of you because you've always been so stylish and I know you like a great product. I know your friends trust you. Um, so I would love to do a show for you and your friends if you agree with me that you also like the line. Oh good, I'm glad you're curious. Well let me send you some more details and some of my top picks for you and then maybe you can make a wish list and let's, we'll be able to chat dates about when we could pull something fun and stylish together. It's really quite simple and I do the work um, but we'll have fun sharing the line with your friends and then of course I will have a big thank you for you. I love to give my hostesses lots of free jewelry for helping me grow my business. So. Um, would it be okay to send that another follow-up with you and we'll chat dates and, and pull together something perfect for you? Great. All right, well, I'm looking forward to it, Joanne, and I can't wait to catch up and hear what's been going on in your life, and I think our little style event will be a great way to do it. Perfect. Well, I'm so glad I called you, and thank you so much for your time. So I went in, I said exactly why I was calling. I had the conversation with her. You know, I'm trying to keep it simple. I'll forward her some information and I now have permission to follow up with her and book a date. So I think that is probably the important thing is to let them know, this is why I'm calling. Um, and it makes the whole call much more sincere. Um, and I, what I have definitely found is people want to help you. They want to know what's going on with you too. So um, I think it's absolutely okay to call and be very direct about why you're calling and move your business forward. And I hope you're doing that this week. And happy March. Load that month up so you can get lots of reward, rewards for April.